Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. So good morning. It is Friday, and I must admit it's super early for me right now. It's dark out, but... I am going on a treasure hunt with my brother today to a barn sale, an estate sale in a barn out where, um, out in the country. <clears throat> so that should be really fun. Um, so I'm getting this done early so I can get it uploaded and I can, uh, it's an hour drive for me. So I want to get out there. Anyway, this is an episode of Coffee with Kim. Welcome. Hope you're going to start your Friday off creative. I have asked a few of you that hang out with me on a regular basis to send me your crafting journey. Send me why you got into crafting, why you do crafting, um, who or what started you in crafting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've gotten two and the stories have been amazing. So I've decided, depending on how many I get, excuse me, I'm going to make a little book. And I don't know if I'm going to actually, well, it depends on how many I get. So I might actually um, do a paperback of it, or I might actually make a handmade journal. And whoever gives me <clears throat> their story, I will give them a copy. So it all depends on how many I get. Sorry, I'm looking at Fritzy because I don't know what he's up to. What are you doing? <laughs> He's mad that I'm not paying attention to him. Do you want to come out? No. Okay. So yeah, if you could, my email is in the information on at the bottom. Um, please send me your crafting journey. Or if you don't want to share yours, have you ever helped somebody get into crafting? Have you shown somebody, like me with my neighbor's daughter, Grace, um, I like to think that I helped her. Obviously, her parents are super creative, but I like to think that I helped her get into crafting. And my other neighbors here at the river, um, their little daughter, I like crafting with her as well. So share a crafting story with me because I'm trying to get enough to make a little book. Even if it's just one of those little, you know, flip through daily inspiration books, I think that would be cool. So let's get into what I've been doing the past day or two. Rapid fire videos I've been putting out. My voice feels a little scratchy this morning. I apologize. With it being early, I think that might be it, but I might have to pop in a cough drop if I can find where I put them. Or not. <laughs> Maybe I don't have any here. have crackers. That's a whole other story. But anyhow, um, so you will recognize from the blanket from yesterday, I am bringing this bag today to go on the treasure hunt with my brother. I love this bag. Um, hindsight, I would have made this a little shorter and I could still take it off and make it a little shorter. Um, but when I was doing it, I was thinking, you know, if I pack it full, what have you got? What have you got? Don't just put your ears, but what is that? Um, he just grabbed a roll of tape. I'll give him a second. Then he, then I'll take it. So yeah, I love this. So now I have enough to make a few more bags. I might make one like half the length. I just, I like it. So there's that project. And as most of you saw, I finished my grandson's Easter basket. Now I'm working on stuff to go in it. So I just finished this. <laughs> A little egg. So that's that. And then, I don't know if you, yeah, I've, I've mentioned it. I've been working on those cuddle 
snuggle buddies. Snuggle buddies. Um, and I love, <clears throat> my goodness, that was a yawn and a all at once. <laughs> anyway, I love the concept of the snuggle buddy. And I made this one last night. I love the colors. I absolutely, he's adorable. However, here's my problem. I can still, no matter how good I sew it, I can still see the seam. That's one. Number two, I don't love cutting a stuffed animal in half. It's a thing I have about stuffed animals. I know it's ridiculous. I do. Trust me, I know it's ridiculous. But I've always had a thing. Okay, hold on. I got to take that from him. That'll do. You have every toy in the world. You got to chew on tape? I don't think so. Okay. So I've always had a thing with stuffed animals where... I don't know. I give them personalities. I know it's weird. I get it. I get that it's weird, but they're just so cute. And so I really don't like cutting them in half and sewing them up. That being said, um, my niece just told me she's pregnant with a little girl. So I might give her this little guy as a gift, but here, let me put my bag out of the way. <clears throat> so I'm like, I would still like to make them, but I don't want to cut them apart. So I made a smaller version where all I did was sew the blanket to the bear. That way they can snuggle and cuddle without him being cut. I've decided I'm calling them cuddle friends so cute. Cuddle friends, KF. I'll put it on the screen. Cuddle friends. <laughs> um, what time? 739. So 739. Okay. That way, one, they, they work up quicker because all you're really doing is making the little blanket. I'll make the next blanket. I did it with um, half doubles because they're my my favorite stitch but this is with doubles and it's the same amount of rows so i'm gonna go ahead and make them with doubles instead of half doubles isn't he cute he is going in so i just set this down on the mouse and it stopped the camera recording i did mention it's early right <laughs> so he is going in the baby's easter basket So I just love the colors. They match perfect and he fits in there very nicely. So he's going in the baby's Easter basket. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make cuddle friends where I don't cut the stuffed animal. I just attach the blanket to it. I like that so much better. Plus I'm not a huge fan of sewing. I did buy a nice little pack of thread because who knows with everything I'm doing, I might need thread. So speaking of everything I'm doing, I had, do I still, yeah, I had an old blanket that I got. Why is this not? Maybe I should have slept another hour. There we go. So I haven't, I had an old blanket that, um, I loved and I do love this type of blanket. <clears throat> they are the, they're just cotton and they've got the fringe that I love. They're a bedspread. And this one was getting worse for the wear, for lack of a better, <clears throat> better term. 
<clears throat> My goodness, I'm sorry if that annoys you. It annoys me. So I've been looking online at rag rugs and um, rag wreaths. And I have enough in here to make both. <laughs> I cut the whole thing into random strips. And I'm going to go ahead and make a rag something. So I was looking at the process of the rug. And I think I need to pay better attention because as I was watching it, my head went, nope. Nope, nope, I don't understand. And I think that was just, sometimes my head will do that where when I first see something, it's like, mm, and then I just got to try it again. There's been a lot of those instances. <laughs> but then I end up loving it. Actually, well, origami. And you saw that that ended up turning out okay. Um, and weaving, <clears throat> I still have not gotten back to that. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to attempt that again <laughs> yet. <laughs> so anyway, if any of you know how to do a rag rug, a braided or weaved or any of the above, I would like to try... So maybe I will take the tassel part off and make a rag wreath out of the tassel part and then keep the other parts and make the rag rug. Right? I think that, so I'll make two projects out of it. Obviously it would be a wreath for inside because I don't, I don't want to put it outside to get First of all, the color. And I live on a dirt road. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on this. But I have, like, this bag is full. So I'm trying to see if I can find the picture. I have this laying on the bed. Sorry. I have this light, this blanket laying on the bed. I'm trying to find a picture of what I, what. <laughs> so here's the picture, the blanket on the bed. Okay. And here's. <laughs> he's like, he's like, mom. Oh, yay. My sister's coming with us. So he's like, hey, Ma, what are you doing to the blanket? So, and in my defense, I really wanted to find a way to save this blanket because I really do love it. So, I will see what I can do with it. I do love the feel of these blankets. I had two of them. One, one's in the camper. Cause it's a nice blanket for a summer night or cause I don't like to sleep without a blanket on. So I have just the top sheet and, um, and this blanket usually. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have done the braided. I'm not great at braiding anyway. Just ask my daughter. <laughs> I used to, have, she wanted braids for school. I'm covered in that stuff. She wanted braids for school and I used to have to put a rubber band and then braid it in a rubber band <laughs> while all the other kids were getting the fancy da 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 you know the French braids and whatever. My poor kid I was like this is what I got. This is all I can do. And now she sees me braid something she's like wait. <laughs> I'm like yeah sorry honey I've learned since my hair. It's got that, um, 
I just woke up. Look, <laughs> I did brush it and I have been up a while, but that's right. I'm just going to see my brother <clears throat> and now my sister. Yay. <laughs> I'm really excited. Maybe I will bring this lovey for her to give to her daughter as a congratulations on their first girl. They've got three boys and the doctor told her this is your last child. So one way or another, and it's a girl. So it's very exciting. Yeah, I am not a fan of this stuff. While it does work wonderfully in sealing the material, and I only used it in a little spot on this elephant because he had a he had a little tear on his buttocks. So I put one drop. I just don't like it, but that's all right. So <laughs> there we have that. Um, what else am I up to? What am I not up to? I know I still have to do those tutorials. They're just, they take, they're a time taker and at the moment, I don't have that time to take. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm trying to budget my time so I know how much I have, but, and everybody might say, oh, well, you're retired. Why, you know, I'm telling you, I get in here and I get working and I get <clears throat> concentrating and planning and rearranging because you know, that's what I do. Um, and then all of a sudden I look up and it's four o'clock and I'm like, what the heck? I got up at, you know, four in the morning and now it's four in the afternoon and I feel like I still have 20 things to do. So anyhow, retire, they said. <laughs> It'll be great, they said. Uh -huh. I can't concentrate on that right now. So yeah, I think that's got me caught up. Let's see. Well, there's this pile of stuff right here. <clears throat> so what I do is if I have stuff that I've worked on that needs to be put away, but I need to move on to something else, I will have a bag or a box or a little tote, one of those totes. Um, and I'll put stuff in it and that'll be my, I need to sort this out later bag. I currently have two, three of those. Four. <laughs> I mean, I know what's in them. I just also know. See, I'm looking up there because I have two spaces that I just cleared off that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. I know that if I put stuff up there, it's not getting touched for a while. It's just not getting dealt with. So I want to put stuff up there that I don't need immediately. Like I just put all of my ribbon over there, my Christmas ribbon, my seasonal ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. <laughs> Sorry. I crack myself up every day, which is fine. Cause if I can't laugh at me, I can't laugh at others. And I love to laugh at others. Not in a mean way, but people are funny. So anyway, I'm going to take my ribbon and put it up there. That opens up three. You can't see them. Hold on. Let's get that. Okay. So, whoa. So you see the octopus over there? Those three are ribbon. And I don't, wow, that looks messier than it is. It's really, it's really kind of organized better than it looks. And then over up there, sorry about the light, up there are two empty spots where I can put them. And that opens that up so I have stuff at my fingertips that I need. Sorry for the crash tour of my craziness. I got to get rid of those dolls. They're going to the um, flea market. 
And then, of course, I have my Addy machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I set up a black and a red skein, one each, on that because I want to make that bag. Um, but that brings me to the fact that I cannot find those black handles. You know the black handles I was talking about because I was trying to figure out what color bag to make for them. They're going to be in one of my bags that needs to be figured out. I love this. I absolutely love this. Should I give it to my sister today? As a surprise? No, because then I don't have a surprise for my brother. It's kind of like having toddlers. I'm kidding. But I do usually give them all something when I give somebody something. But I wouldn't want to give my brother a bag. Well, he might use it. Not this one, but one of the other ones that I've made. He might use it at the market. He won't. So, <laughs> not going to give it to him. He'll just give it to his girlfriend. And Although I love her and I know she would love to use it. I don't want to give somebody something just for the sake of giving somebody. I like to make things with that person in mind. So, Oh, my coffee's running low. That makes me sad. Can we talk once, just once, quick about the weather? Not okay. Not okay. So... We don't have it right here, which is, thank goodness, we didn't get it right here. But all around us, there is a winter weather advisory. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, I'm close to the Adirondacks, and they're getting up to 12 inches of snow. No. No, thank you. It's March 22nd. No, thank you. Let's move on. The only um, silver lining is that next week starts 50s and 50, you know. So hopefully I will be able to get back out into the camper, back out into the garage, start cleaning stuff up so I can take the stuff that needs to go out, out. Because... Right now I have a stack of, okay, this goes to the camper, this goes to the um, flea market, you know what I mean? So I'm, and in order, well, I already told you all that. It's, it's kind of like, what was that game, Jenga? I got to pull this stick out and balance everything and pull this stick out. Balance everything. <laughs> I can't, I can't just move something. So anyway. All right. So remember, please, live tomorrow morning, 9 Eastern. I would love to have you all join me. We do have fun on the live. Um, it's kind of like this, only live. <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry. Bear with me. Oh, my sprinkled shirt. Oh, it's not wrinkled. So, okay. If you like the video, please thumbs up, share, like, leave me a comment. Apparently, I need comments as well as thumbs up. Even if you just say good morning or just say the word hi or give me a thumbs up in the comment. Um, so I'll do that. How about that? Give me a like and then please give me a thumbs up in the comments. Um, I am at 2,167 view hours and I need 4,000. <clears> so we're getting there. Um, so... Any views you can give me, I appreciate. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. Um, I'm trying to get to 1,000 by May 1st, and I am at 936. It was 937 yesterday. I lost one. Hmm. However, I was on a live, and three people said they subscribed, and I didn't see it pop up in my numbers, but I don't know. Those are things out of my control. So anyhow, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for starting your day. 
with another episode of Coffee with Kim. Thank you so much for spending any time you do with me. I appreciate it. All your emails and your interactions. And apparently, I have some happy mail waiting for me at the post office. So I'm going to stop there on my way out of town this morning. I'm really excited. You know how I am with happy mail. <laughs> and I did have um, someone else bought me some coffee. So thank you. Lord knows I need all the coffee I can get. And um, I appreciate you guys. I really do. I love doing this. I love hanging out with you. I hope it shows. I hope I <clears throat> always keep it positive and light and happy um, because I do love it. I love hanging out and sharing fun stuff and laughing at myself. So hopefully I give you a chuckle here and there. So, all right, you guys. Have a great day. I will see you live tomorrow morning at nine. Remember to be creative. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.